Hello guys, today we're going to be doing a video on Warzone using the RTX 3050. We're running a Ryzen 3700X with 32GB of RAM running at 3200MHz. Alright, let's jump into the settings. We're going to be starting it off with 1080p on the low settings. Let me show you guys the settings now. We will, uh, we do have cache spot shadows and cache sun shadows since they do give us a performance boost. So these are the only two that we will actually have enabled. So far, we are sitting in the 70s. Where did that guy go? So far, wow, 140 FPS indoor, that's fantastic to see. Game's running super smooth right now. Animation's movement feels very fluid. I am running 144Hz monitor and you can definitely feel the improvement. When you do get about 100 FPS. Someone's in there, I think. Okay, nope. I'm gonna die, I have no armor. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of testing and warm up since uh, it's kind of difficult to do some specific tests while people are running around trying to kill you. So I'm gonna go ahead and land on top of the prison and see what frame rate we actually get once we look over the edge, over the map. Okay. 100 frames, 120. I wonder what it is if I look... Oh, landing here now. Come on, can you guys lead? We can still hold 110 FPS while looking over the map. And something else to keep in mind is that we do have DLSS available to us. So, so I will be testing out DLSS even on very low settings. Just to see what kind of performance we can get out of it. And see how it looks as well. Uh, where's the setting? DLSS. Start off with the quality preset. So normally the, the card runs around 110 to 130 FPS on average. We did dip into the high 90s for a little bit, but that seems like a, a one-off thing. It doesn't happen very often. So I'm gonna go ahead and press that DLSS set to quality 1080p just to see how it looks and how it performs. Hopefully we can get a decent FPS boost. Enemies here, I've got to be quick, this gun is... What is this? Okay, you know what? I don't want a pistol. I'm leaving. FPS? Oh my goodness. He's reloading. I knew he was reloading. My aim was actually awful with this, but... I kind of freaked out. I can't even lie. Okay, the quality, there is definitely some blurring going on, but it's not too obvious when you're running around. Frame rate though, it actually decreased with DLSS. And GPU is still maxed out as well. We're sitting at 97% GPU usage, so. GPU utilization is, is fully, uh, it's being fully used, so. I think this might be a game issue. Call this in just for the fun of it. I think we're gonna reserve DLSS for when we actually do need it and we, we do fall below 60 FPS. Not for when we just wanna get 140 FPS. Okay, you win. I'm so screwed, bro. No way you lost to that. I had no armor. I need to get out of here. Yeah, these are the settings that I've chosen for a low settings. Some things are set to normal, some things are set to, uh, set to low, set to very low. So it's, it's a good balance between very low, low and medium. It's a good balance between all three. And afterwards we'll do medium settings and then high, which is our last preset. And then I'll try ray tracing out and and DLSS as well. Frame rate in the heli seems to be about, sim about the same as very low. I'm later. Up, up, up. 
I don't want to deal with those guys yet. Frame rate though is sitting at 120, so. Um, what is up with the pistols? Sorry, bud. Ah. Oh. I can't reload my gun. I can barely think right now. This is just... What an awful position to be right now. Okay, let's reload and relax. 120... Average trim of 114. Honestly, doing a lot better than I expected. I thought it was gonna be falling today. What is that guy doing there? Oh my god. Oh, this gun's way better. Give me that. Okay, I was forced out of my home. I had to land here. That spawn area was just such a bad place to land. So many enemies just holding the area down. But those settings honestly looks like a decent improvement from the very low settings. So it's good to see. Frame rate wasn't too impactful either. We we're actually holding above 110, around 115 most of the time. So, honestly, pretty good experience, very fluid still. If you got a 140 hertz screen, you can definitely take advantage of it, even at the low settings. DLSS, I don't know if it's just my game that's bugged out or the settings are around medium to high settings now, instead of low to medium. So, yeah, let's see how it performs. And everyone's everywhere. Okay. Let's actually land. Let's see what we get. We're still holding 110, 105 FPS. Obviously, we can easily dip down to the 80s and 90s, like how we saw before as it was landing. But. 91, 81, there we go. So, it all depends on the area of the map that you're playing in and what is going on on screen. But medium settings, we actually do consistently fall below 100 FPS, which is kind of disappointing. It would be it would have been nice to see us stay a little. What is going on in this level, man? Yeah, it would have been nice to stay over 100 FPS the whole time, but I guess I'm expecting too much. How did I? I don't think so. Nebula rounds. Wow, 70 FPS! Okay, medium settings. We do get a wide FPS range. We we can be in the 60s, we can be in the 70s, 80s, 90s, all the way up to 100s. Again froze, but now we're back. And everything is maxed out right now. The game's overall feel has definitely degraded. There's actually more blurring going on than when we had the LSS, so something to say for that. Frame rate, 70s, but feels pretty laggy, I, I will say. It does feel very choppy and very stuttery. Okay, this is not the way to play this game, like I will say. We're just... Where did that guy go? Oops, straight the guns. Okay, well, interesting. I don't know why I have claimers on this class, but uh, I guess we'll use them. So our FPS seems to range from the 60s all the way up to the 80s. And yeah, I would not want to play like this to be honest. Let me go ahead and make it worse by turning on ray tracing. Not too much of a decrease, which is interesting. We do fall. Oh, I feel like we're in the 50s at that point, but we're still sitting in the 70s. That's These reflections do look a lot better than though. I do like how they look. Alright, DLSS. Okay, now it's working. There we go. I just had to reset the settings a little bit. Move them around a little bit. Update them. Change resolution. And we actually have pushed up into the 90s all over again. Very nice experience. Honestly. 
from what I could remember, DLSS always looked pretty bad in Warzone and uh, Black Ops Cold War. Look at that guy. I need to get out of here, he saw me. Where's that boy's at? He's in the heli. Oh, the crap, there's enemies here. Okay, we don't want to land there, so thank you. Land here or something, hopefully it's clear, man. And 90 FPS at 440p is not that bad. Ooh, lag. Are we okay? Okay. Had a bit of a lag spike. 90 FPS is not that bad at all at 440p. The game still does feel pretty decently fluid. Can't really. Yeah, it, 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 it feels pretty good. No complaints in the movement, of the mass movement at all. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use DLSS just to see. Put it balanced. Just to see how it handles it. If we get a performance boost, what kind of a, of a performance boost we get. So we're sitting in the 80s. But honestly, the game isn't as sharp, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, it's not quite as sharp as actual native 1440p at balance, but it's not bad either, I mean. Can't really complain, I guess. Still pretty good, obviously, I'm having internet issues at this point, it's fantastic. You definitely get a pretty decent FPS boost at 440p. Go from the 80s to 70s to holding 90s to 100s. Oh, this feels really laggy now. Okay, 50 FPS. It's kind of hard to aim. The movement feels pretty, pretty awful. Not a 4K car at the end of the day anyway, so can't really say that I'm shocked. 95 FPS again. Wow. So we gained 40 FPS. But the quality doesn't look like it's running in 4K, I gotta say. 1080p honestly looked pretty good with the LSS. But 1440p and 4K, it looks too much sharpness. It's just, I don't know. You can obviously do it and use it, but you're losing a bit of your quality for playing at 1440p. But at the end of the day, this depends on the person. You gotta try it out and see what you like the most. But for me, I would just stick to 1080p, low to medium settings. I think low is the sweet spot. Obviously, if you want to play it close to 144 FPS, play on the very on the very low settings. Maybe increase your texture quality up to low instead of very low, because that that definitely gives us a big boost in quality. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and subscribe. We highly appreciate it. See you next time.